So I wasn't really a fan of the Minibok until this low recoil build. This thing is nuts. Oh, and also the hip fire is really good too. Let's talk about it. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another Call of Duty video. I hope you guys have been enjoying the builds lately. If you have, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys smash the like button. Um, it helps the channel a ton. And if you guys wanna see more content like this, subscribe to the channel. You can always hit the bell if you wanna be notified when a new build goes live. Other than that, I do stream on Twitch almost every single day. I would love to catch you guys in the morning. Um, I think it'll be a good time. It's We usually have a lot of fun, and I think if you're there, it'll even be better. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Minibok. This is a build that you can play aggro, but also beam with low recoil. And the hip fire naturally is just really good because um, this is not a hip fire build, but you're going to see in the video that we're hip firing a lot and it's very, very good. So one of the best things about the Minibok um, is that it has 64 rounds. You start with 64 rounds and you don't have to add anything, which makes it really good for these builds because you could really min max on the potential of the build without having to put a bigger magazine in. Um, so it makes it a really good gun for even things like Warzone. Now where it's going to not shine as much is in those really CQC settings where like for instance, a Fennec would still melt you because the RPM is lower. But because the RPM is lower, you're allowed to have the recoil be way more manageable at further ranges. So. To get started, we're going to start with the FSS OL V laser, and that laser is going to give us the aim down sight speed, the aim stability, and sprint to fire speed. The reason why we're going to go with this is because we want the ADS speed since we're taking from a couple other pieces on this to make it more stable. So we're going to be getting it there. After that, we're going to be adding the only barrel that it comes with, which is the Bach 9 279 millimeter barrel. This is going to give us a damage range, hit fire accuracy. So there's a little bit of hit fire accuracy there. Okay. And then bullet velocity. Now, the way that we're going to tune this um, is we're going to go for damage range and we're going to go for recoil steadiness because we want this thing to feel very, very steady when we're trying to get those longer ranges. If you guys have used this gun before, whether it's called the Bison, the Bullfrog, or the Minibok, it is very bouncy vertically. Okay. It just hops up and down like this right and it has a lower rpm so sometimes that feels like a lot so with this barrel and this x um rk sandstorm together it minimizes that a ton this is going to focus on vertical recoil and then on that the way that we're going to tune it is we're going to go for the aiming idle stability and the ads speed we're going to take as much ADS speed as we can get without ruining the stability of the weapon. And then on top of that, we're gonna be going with the Minibok Grip Mag. Now this is actually going to help with our aiming idle stability. So when you're holding it for those longer ranges, you're not moving as much and with recoil stabilization. This is really good. We ran this and tested it and ran it with the grip and tested it, the demo grip. This is better than the pistol grip. Run this try it i promise okay and then the we're also going to grab the ft tac elite stock and that is going to give us a more stable weapon overall giving us recoil control and um the way that we're going to tune that is we're going to be going for the aiming idle stability again and then also taking a little bit of that aim down sight speed since we can it's it, i mean is it moving is it This thing is, oh my gosh, dude. It, it, it just feels like it has no recoil. So if you're if you're tracking, if you're actually just making sure that you're landing those shots, you're chilling, dude. You're literally chilling. Enjoy the gameplay and I'll see you after. Are you kidding? Homie literally is back there with the shield. Oh, oh! Dang, I needed those. Six more. No shot. Bro, what? What is this? Oh, 
Bro, are these guys serious at all sitting behind shields <laughs> in corners? Like what? What is this? This guy's still in the corner, dog. Are you kidding? You have to be joking, bro. Like, what? What are you doing? Don't understand. Dang it. 
I'm sorry, Garcia. Uh, there should be multiple barters for it. Keep going there, bro. Keep going behind that shield. Go on. I love it. Uh, right here. Yeah, keep it up, bro. Keep it up. Keep it up, man. Yo, banana. What's up, dude? Thank you so much for the love. I appreciate it. What's up? How are you? How was the stream? guys are Pretty great? Heck yeah, what'd you play? What'd you do? Thank you so much for the love. I appreciate it. Dang it, man. Bro. Escape from Tarkov? Nice, dude. How are the raids? Did you mess with stuff from the event? Bro. Flashes, man. Thank you guys so much for watching another video if you guys have been liking these videos make sure you smash the like button it does go a long way for the channel it helps out an absolute ton thank you guys for all of the engagement that you've been giving the videos so far especially coming from not doing a ton of call of duty videos and then coming into it you guys are really helping me break into the niche as well as if you guys want to see more content like this make sure you guys subscribe to the channel you can always hit the bell if you want to be notified when new builds go live I would love to catch you on stream in the morning on Twitch. Um, we're pretty much there almost every single day. We have a good time, and I know it's only going to be better when you're there. I hope you guys are very blessed. Hope you have an amazing day or night, depending on where you're at in the world. Before you go anywhere, there's more videos for you. Check those out. I'll catch you on the next one. And as always, happy shooting.